If you're creating branded videos for work, make sure your videos look consistent and recognizable by adding your brand logos, fonts, and color palettes inside the brand kit tool. Hey there, Christy here from Microsoft Clipchamp for work. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a brand kit and add branded elements to your video, allowing you to easily create polished work videos. Once you've signed into Clipchamp for work, to access or add a brand kit, navigate to the toolbar and click on the brand kit tab. Here, you'll be able to import a brand kit that has been shared with you by adding in the URL link or clicking import. Or you can select the create a brand kit button to create your own. The first part of this tutorial, I will showcase how to create your own brand kit, followed by how to add the assets to a work video project. Firstly, click on the create brand kit button and select create brand kit. Start by giving your brand kit a name. Click on the three dots and then select rename brand kit. Type in your changes here. Next, to add your logo, select the add button underneath logos, then click on add logos. Search through your files and select your logo, then click open. Your logo will load into the logos tab. Make sure all logo files must be in PNG, JPEG, or SVG file type with a maximum of 10 megabytes. Next, to add your brand color palette, click on the add button under the colors tab and select the add palette. This will then create a new palette. Click on the plus button under a palette one and you can add in your personalized colors or choosing from a default color option, entering in a color code or using the color picker to select something from your screen. You can add as many colors as you'd like to your color palette just by clicking on the plus button and repeating the process. If you would like to create a second color palette, simply select add palette and follow the same steps. Next, to add your brand's font, click on the add button underneath the fonts tab. You can either scroll through the existing font options by clicking choose from font library. This will create a font one tab. Select the drop down arrow and scroll through the options from the library. Alternatively, import your own customized font from your device. Just note that all fonts must be of a OTF, TTF or WOFF file type with a maximum of 10 megabytes. To add branded images, click on the plus button under the tab, then select add images. Search your files and click on the open button. Follow the same process to import and add branding videos, graphics, music and sound effects. Finally, I will showcase how to add your brand assets to a video. For this example, I have already added a video onto the timeline. To add your logo, navigate to the Brand Kit tab. Then, drag and drop your logo onto the timeline, placing it on the top of the video asset. Make sure it's the same length as your video by dragging the end handles until it meets the end of your video. It will automatically place itself in the top right corner, but you can adjust the size and placement by dragging the corners in and out to make it bigger or smaller. Then move it freely around the video preview until you're happy with where it's placed. Follow the same steps to add in your brand images, videos, and graphics. To add your customized font, navigate to the font tab on the toolbar. Find the text style you'd like to use, then drag and drop it onto the timeline. Again, make sure the length of the text bar matches the same as the assets on the timeline by dragging the end handles. Navigate to the stage and select the font from the drop down menu. Your brand kit font will be at the top of all the font options. Simply click on the brand font to apply. Add brand colors to your font by clicking on the colors tab. The drop down menu will appear and select brand kit. Your brand kit color palettes will appear for you to select a color from your brand kit to use. Lastly, to add brand music or sound effects, click on the brand kit tab again and simply drag and drop the music or sound effect onto the timeline, placing it below any other assets. When you're ready to save and export your video, click on the export button. Select a video quality, then give your video a name and description. 
your video will automatically save to your OneDrive account. To change the location, click on the Change Location button. Finally, click on the Export button to finish. And that's how you can use the brand kit inside Clipchamp for work. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more of our for work videos.